Sonic. No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 Fuck! Fuck, 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 fuck! Oh! Hey guys, welcome back. Today we discuss AMC's interview with the vampire. So AMC's Interview with the Vampire is a television series, an upcoming adaptation of Anne Rice's best-selling novel series, The Vampire Chronicles. When I first heard about this project, I was excited. I liked the idea of seeing this particular period of Louisiana history on screen. I should have known better. <laughs> I know, I know. I don't know why I continue to have hope. Don't. Don't what? Don't give me hope. So first, they announced that there would be major changes from the book. To be totally fair, I didn't expect a faithful adaptation. The big screen version starring Brad Pitt as Louie and Tom Cruise as Lestat had its flaws, including casting. But certainly this couldn't be worse, right? At the very least, I expected them to stay true to the personality of the characters and to honor the place and the time period in which the story is rooted. That's all I needed. That's all I asked for. And yet, my incredibly low expectations were not met. They, my hopes were dashed. Among the changes that have been announced, Louis is black now or biracial. It was announced recently that actor Jacob Anderson, who played Grey Worm in Game of Thrones, he's been cast in the role. I was completely prepared for this one because it's the times we're living in and Hollywood is looking for any opportunity to check a box on its wheel of tokenism. But Louis wasn't cast properly the first time, so it wasn't exactly setting a precedent. I will say though, despite a lot of what you'll see on Twitter, if the character were brown skin in the novels, it wouldn't be out of place to keep him otherwise the same. Why is this important? Well, let's take a look back. Louisiana's Creole culture, which Louis belongs to, is rooted in the Catholic faith, which in practice in the 1700s stressed education as well as religious training and service. And the efforts of the church were directed to all people of all genders, all colors, in every status, free or slave. Moreover, unlike in British American colonies, even slaves had some rights here. Protections pertaining to marriage status, for example, and the prohibition against separating families. It was also common in French tradition for Frenchmen to marry the mothers of their children, regardless of race. The result was an entire people, known as quote unquote free people of color who had become one of the largest and wealthiest of such populations in the Americas. And yes, this included being slave owners themselves, as well as merchants, sailors, and every other occupation you can imagine. As a result, they enjoyed most of the rights extended to whites. They didn't have to walk around with freedom papers and even won court cases against white defendants, practically unheard of elsewhere. Louisiana as a society was truly remarkable. It wasn't perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but it was a melting pot where racial barriers were far less determined than they would become later, which marked a dramatic difference between Louisiana and Louisiana under American influence. If you root the characters and the story in the modern day or anything close to it, even during the post-Civil War era, you're erasing all of that. The very unique multicultural world that shaped the characters you're depicting in their cosmopolitan view of people and of life. That is even more relevant when you consider the next change. So the series will be set in the modern day, not colonial Louisiana. In fact, this Louis is 146 years old, and why is that a problem? 
because slavery ended 156 years ago. If you're setting it in the modern day, then he would have become an adult after slavery, not in the 1700s. I guess that was too problematic for whatever reason. Or they just couldn't have it because as I've discussed on this channel time and time again, no race swap goes unrewarded. They have to degrade the character. They have to diminish him in some way to take him down a notch when they make these changes. And everyone has to be reminded that he's black using the most ridiculous, simplistic stereotypes. In this case, the lead character, Louis, won't be a plantation owner. He will be a brothel owner. He's literally been changed from a planter to a pimp. To reduce a respected, wealthy, landed Creole gentleman, white or black, an aristocrat, to a brothel owner is insulting to the character and to the entire culture he comes from. The entire culture that real life people here in Louisiana come from. But it doesn't stop there. <laughs> it gets worse. The official character description is as follows. Louis maintained a veneer of self-assuredness and pride through hubris and belligerence. And while respected by many, he was disregarded by his wealthy counterparts for his skin color. And there you have it. Louis is now oppressed and hurt. <laughs> Bitter even. Not to mention arrogant and in their words, belligerent because of his skin color. And considering the world he should have grown up in, he would find that sort of perspective to be savage. <laughs> it would be considered beneath him, actually. I don't know who this is. I don't know what this is or who this is for. This is nothing but another example of Hollywood taking the title of something, something amazing from the 90s and utterly trashing it, changing it instead of coming up with something of their own, something new, something fresh. And don't even get me started on Daniel Malloy, last played by Christian Slater, the one who conducts the interview. He's now going to be an elderly online professor. <sighs> I am absolutely not looking forward to this dumpster fire. I hate that it's even being made. They're saying they're already expecting two seasons from it. I doubt it will survive one. If it does, it won't be with my help. AMC ruined zombies and now it's ruining vampires in Louisiana. You may as well say, <laughs> uh, what's next? What is next? Let's discuss in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.